Uber eated Starbucks to my dad's house for the Lake Day. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, iced coffee with vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top. I just got a tall though. disgusting day yesterday was insane such a such a story time i have um i wish i would have like recorded some of it but i wasn't really thinking about it the one thing that i have is like a video that i took on snapchat to like save it's crazy because even me telling the story won't even like justify it was just like one thing after another it was literally just insane it was the most gorgeous day and the day just turned into the most disgusting rainy cold day like at five o'clock so we were out at the sandbar which is my dad um well my childhood home is on a lake and it's a chain of lakes big lake conway is where the sandbar is if you aren't like familiar or aren't from orlando there's like a chain of lakes my dad's house is on one lake and you have to take like a canal to get to the big lake and then from the canal the sandbar is on the other side of the lake so we took a few of our friends to the sandbar to hang out for the day and um, i posted this picture on my story the homes that are there have to have like docks that go out really far if they want to have a boat goes in the water from their dock and here's like an example i think you can kind of see the dock and like the length of the dock to get out to like deep enough water to where you can put the boat in the water it was like about five o'clock and i started to notice that there was like a band of rain that was coming towards us and so i was like we should go like we should head out like so that way we can miss the rain we tried to leave and the boat wouldn't start that isn't even like the worst part of the story we were trying to get people to tow us no one would tow us um there was no cops around no cops could tow us we called the non-emergency police to see if someone could send a boat out to tow us they said they don't do that so we went through like the first band of rain like covered up people were still there just chilling in the rain so the rain stopped we saw another band of rain coming. We had someone in the water pulling us, one of our friends, pulling us to the dock that came out. And we were like, okay, we'll just stand here on this dock. If the people come out, we'll just tell them that we ran out of gas. We just don't know what to do. So we like pulled up to the dock. Then it started to, I kid you not, this was like tropical storm, on the edge of tropical storm, like hurricane force winds. I have a video and it doesn't even justify how bad the weather was so i'll insert this the video right here we had to let the boat float in to shore because literally the boat was like going sideways that's how bad 
the winds were there was white caps the rain the winds were so strong so bad the guy came out i don't even know if he's the owner of the house or not he was like you can't be here like you have to go back um this is like private property like you can't be here like you can't go back and i was like i don't think you understand sir we can't go back anywhere because the boat is out of gas we don't we don't have anywhere to go so my friend maya knew the next door neighbors house was like okay can we just like walk on your dock and like go around the gate and get to this person's house so that way we can get get the boat to shore and he like let us go so then i called my brother and he came out with gas a tank of gas the winds were so strong we were freezing it was raining windy so cold christian was out holding the boat poor thing was out in the wind in the cold water just standing there huddling behind the boat trying to keep it secure we couldn't get it far enough on land since it was so shallow it wouldn't come up farther to where we could like attach it to anything so we had to hold on to it my brother came with a tank of gas tried to start it wouldn't start so the battery died so he came he left came back with like a battery jump box the boat wouldn't start so we were all standing there and it felt like a wind tunnel like the winds were so strong at that point we were sitting there shaking for two hours so my brother drove us all back to my dad's house then christian and my brother had to take our jet ski out and tow the boat back it took them an hour because they had to go so slow we're just like beat up i feel so bad for christian he wins like boyfriend of the year I kid you not it was the most insane few hours and like i can't even do like this video doesn't even do it justice i couldn't even record like the worst part because like i wasn't even thinking about that it was just so insane and people were still at the sandbar and when i say that these waves were like so big they were so big you could probably surf on those waves it was insane i felt like i was in the middle of a tropical storm or like a low like a hurricane we were like worried that we were gonna get sick i'm surprised that i feel like as good as i do because i was just sitting in a wet bathing suit <laughs> after it rained all over me the wind was so bad standing outside for like two hours just shaking in the cold didn't eat lunch last night like all you saw was me making green tea with lemon let me let me watch this video most beautiful day outside and it turned to that but the waves got so much bigger to where the boat was literally like on its side and we had to like let it go because we didn't want to destroy this person's dock from the boat like banging into it but they were trying to hold the boat off the dock and we were just standing there and like we didn't know what to do and we were expecting it just to be another rainstorm so we were like just attaching the boat we didn't there wasn't any wind in the first rainstorm and then all of a sudden when that second band came through the wind picked up so much so that was our day we're gonna make a better day but this is the weather just wanted to throw in this little story time because it was so insane, so insane, crazy. YouTube video just got an Amazon package I didn't know they delivered on Sundays but I'm like knocking I'm basically like stepping up my organization game because this is little cabinet shelves I guess or little I think I think I have to put it together but it's like little cabinet shelves that you can put plates on and I actually just made a crate and barrel purchase last week and um, I ordered new plates and it's such a big moment because I have, um, I'll show you the plates that I have from college and there's nothing wrong with these plates at all. Um, they're just like, 
polka dotted edges and like a it's a cool bowl polka dot edges polka dot edges there's nothing wrong with these dishes i'm gonna donate them um give them away for free to someone that uh will enjoy them and use them and obviously like they're free so i've had those since college i bought those when i moved into my first apartment in college and i've just kept them and taken them with me and i um kept them when i moved back home after college for those i can't believe i was home for two years i expected to be home for like three months and then move back out and then i was home for literally like two years after college anyways they're these they're wooden shelves and you have to build them on the stands so i always have to build them and then i'll put the two plates on them i hope christian has a screwdriver i think he does i think he has a tool kit so it comes with four shelves I think it was like thirty dollars for four shelves and you can get these little stands in white too and they just go on the shelves of your shelves in the cabinet go on the shelves of your shelves in the cabinet Okay, this is how I put them on the shelves. Obviously, we're waiting on our plates to come in and I pulled out all of our old plates. So I don't know how I'm gonna organize it when our plates and bowls do come in, but this is how I have it set up because you can't really put anything on this shelf and you can't move the shelves to make them bigger or smaller. So that's this. And then I put the other one over here with these i have some um cups in the dishwasher so it's a little bit empty but i need to reorganize it a little bit once they come in i also have some more wine glasses coming in with the cups and then i can maybe organize this a little bit better but i put the other one here and i i like it because now i can add more cups over on this side because I'm putting these two cups on top of the shelf. So, looks really good. We are using our food saver for the first time. We went to Trader Joe's earlier. I didn't do a haul because I just did one of those a few vlogs ago, so check it out. But we got some filet and we're going to vacuum seal it so that way we can eat it later this week, but it still stays fresh because it doesn't stay that fresh in this container. And now it's ready to go in the freezer. This thing is great. <laughs> 